This week, it's a little bit of arts, a little bit of craft, and a little bit of fraud. This episode of Scam School brought to you by Jack Threads and HostGator. Welcome to the show that tracks down that kid from high school, the one that was popular and had the money and the girl, and kicks him in the crotch. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and while we're on the subject of high school, what better place to revisit bad memories by crashing the social media prom? Crystal, it is wonderful to see you. Thank you for coming. Tell me a little bit about this party we're at. What's going on here? So we're at Social Media Prom, and it started with um, just a random idea at 2 o'clock in the morning and thinking that the nerds need to dress up for one night, and here we are. 2 o'clock in the evening is after you've had a few drinks, you're like, wait a minute. You know what would be awesome? Is if the nerds had a prom and no jocks were allowed. You won't believe it. I was actually sober when I thought of it. Well, good. I know. That, that just means it's all the more brilliant. Exactly. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of a puzzle. Sometimes in scam school, it's about doing a kick-ass magic trick. Sometimes it's about punking your friends. But sometimes it's about doing a puzzle. Now, the thing about puzzles is that sometimes they're fair, sometimes they're not fair. I'm going to be nice to you and say that both of these are fair. We're going to do fair ones. I like so you fair. might have a chance to actually right, win great. here. What I'm going to do is, I want you to imagine we have nine rattlesnakes all okay. in a different cage. And what you need to do, and actually, the way I first learned this was on a piece of paper. You start off with a box, and you have nine rattlesnakes in there. Okay. And the goal is, by only drawing two boxes, separate every single rattlesnake from the other rattlesnake. Does that make sense? Every single rattlesnake is completely separated from the other ones. I have so to in, actually draw a box. What, exactly. Now the problem is, is we don't want to draw a box here. And the other problem is if you draw a box, then you got to start all over with a new piece of paper. And that's, right. that's a big pain in the butt. So I thought it'd be a little more fun to do kind of craft time. All right. Why don't we draw, everyone's in a big pen. Help me out here. We'll draw all a big right. box around this. So you have as many matches as you want. But the rule is, you need to construct only two boxes, exactly two boxes, and keep every single rattlesnake totally separate from all the others. You ready to get started? If you get it right, right, I'll buy you a drink. Oh and apparently gosh. they're free tonight. Thank yes. you very much. Thanks to Sky Vodka. Uh, all right, here we go. Oh gosh, I don't know. It has to be two boxes. Can they overlap? Sure, why not? I don't know. I'll yeah, just get started. There boxes. we go, yeah. So there's one box, right? How is that one box not completed yet? Well yeah, but I mean if you complete it, then you got a box right there. Oh, okay, yeah. alright. So you made one you made one square. Okay. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I think for that to be a square, though, you'd have it's to extend a out. Well, that's true. That's true. Well, I mean, these guys are kind of all in the clubhouse together, <laughs> and you got these two and these two. They're so your solution is, I teach my rattlesnakes to get along with each other. Exactly. We exactly. teach peace and prosperity among exactly. my rattlesnakes. Socialize. That's what we're here for. Yeah, all right, well, all here, right. Let's clear the board. We'll reset it. Start again. Try something totally different. And you know what often works in these kind of puzzles? It often helps if you, on purpose. Try something that you know is totally stupid. Like, well, it can't be this. Because at least it establishes a baseline from a direction you don't want to go. I have no idea. I feel like I'm doing the same box differently. That's one box, that's good. That's two boxes. That's two boxes. And an awful lot of rattlesnakes all in the same cage together. I want them to get along. Now you know the rule on Scam School. The rule on Scam School is you can do the, I will reset the game as long as you want until the end of the evening. But if you get so frustrated that you have to know the answer, I, you could sell it to me for the for a beer. I will sell it to you for a drink. How about I get you wonderful Sky Vodka? You know what? 
I think we have a deal. All right, But good. first, we have to thank our sponsors. Thank our sponsors. Cheers. <laughs> We all know that guys hate shopping for clothes. You gotta leave the house, go to the store, look all over the place to find one or two things that are cool. Plus, you have to smell other people. Luckily, that area is over now that there's Jack Threads. Jack Threads is a members-only online shopping club that does the dirty work for you, plus saves you a boatload of cash. Every day, Jack Threads serves up the hottest indie brands at huge discount prices. We're talking up to 80% off what you pay in the store. And they got amazing brands like Kid Robot, The Hundreds, American Apparel, for way less than you'll find anywhere else. Now, Jack Threads is a private club, but luckily, Scam School's got the hookup. So to get access to the sweet, awesome deals, head on over to jackthreads.com slash scam, and you'll get to skip the wait list and become a member right away. Oh, BT Dubs, did we mention it's free to join? Hit up jackthreads.com slash scam, and you'll instantly start saving up to 80% without having to leave the house or smell anyone. Now, before I tell you the answer to my caged rattlesnakes problem, I'm going to do a really simple one. This one's like a 50-50 coin toss. Don't look. I mean, not like, not like I'm ashamed of myself or anything, but I'm like, oh. All right, I just bit the head off of one of these matches. Hold on. And now I just bit the head off another one of the matches. So I've got two matches. You ready? I'm ready. It's very simple. Okay. And you might get this one right. All right. But the rule is you got to stay put. All you got to do is tell me which match is longer. They look even. To they be look, so you would say that they're even. Yes. Now would you bet on that? Yes. You would. I would. So you think this is a trick question, and I say which one's longer, and I'm going to be a ha ha. They're both even, right? Kind of, yeah. All right. Well. You ready? I'm ready. All right, is there, are we uh, on for a drink? Okay, we're on for it. You ready? I'm ready. He's gonna piss you off. What? <laughs> totally not cool. Yes! Not cool. <laughs> All right, let me explain. This one's a quick and dirty one. That's a lot of fun for two reasons. Because we all remember from elementary school and junior high, those optical illusions that say, which one's longer? They're both the same size. And what's great about it is you set this up sounding like it's one of those. But the fact that the horizontal one is substantially longer than the other one gives people the chance to make them think that they're screwing you over. Like people like, especially if you get a guy, if you get a big, you know, jock guy like, duh, they're both the same, I already know this one. And you get him to bet on it because people get confident about it. But the amazing thing is it's some weird quirk of the human mind that just causes the vertical axis to look way, way longer than the horizontal. Now that's an easy one, that one's a freebie, but that's not what you bought the drink for. You bought the drink to find out how to separate all those yes, rattlesnakes, and that's what we're gonna do. Before, here we go, we gotta Cheers. thank our sponsors. HostGator is the place for all your domain hosting needs. You can launch your blog or website from just $4.95 a month with 24-7 customer support. That's right. You can call someone at 3 a.m. and speak to an actual live representative who really knows their stuff. Launch your website in minutes with HostGator's website builder and over 4,000 templates. If you have any existing website or blog and you want to switch, the staff at HostGator will even move the site for you at no charge. HostGator goes above and beyond the competition. Get this, servers are 130% powered by wind energy. It's a completely green web hosting. You have unlimited disk space, unlimited bandwidth, 45 day money back guarantee, and $100 AdWords credit to market your website. See for yourself what makes HostGator the perfect hosting solution. Right now, get 20% off your order with special discount codes from Revision 3. Head on over to www.hostgator.com and enter the code SCAMSCHOOL to get 20% off your order. And most importantly, keep those free drinks a coming. All right, I promised you the answer yes. and you made good. You got me a drink and everything. All right. So now, two, what did I say? Two boxes, right? Two, boxes. two squares. The first one, it's just this one box, one square. All right. And what's great about a puzzle like this is that it forces you to think non-linearly, to you think outside. To think outside the box. You got to think outside the box, right? And in this case, what we're going to do you have the one box in the middle. Oh. Ah, you see it coming right now, yeah. don't you, right? 
I feel like a blonde right now. Ah, that's okay. I'm a blonde too. But there we go. Just like that. Awesome. Two squares, all separate. You that's were amazing, Crystal. Thank you Thank so much. You. It was awesome. Now the best part about puzzles like these is that they're super versatile. In this case, we did them using matchsticks and coins, but you can just as easily pull it off with pen and paper. And it's okay if somebody beats you once in a while. It just builds up their confidence and has them coming back for another scam. Now I want to hear about your success stories and failure stories, so post them at the boards at revision3.com slash scam school where you can see all of our episodes right back to episode one. If you're doing the Twitter thing, you can follow the show at twitter.com slash scam school or find out when I'm in your hometown at twitter.com slash wood. If you want to suggest your favorite bar scam, write me directly at brian at revision3.com and don't forget to join us next week because we will be recreating Gulliver's Travels. I will be playing Gulliver and the Lilliputians will be played by all the pretty, pretty squirrels. Where are the squirrels? Where are the squirrels? It's not a squirrel. It's not a squirrel at all. Ah!